Hello everyone and welcome back to Great Lakes Bee Supply YouTube channel, Honey and Home. Today we're going to talk a little bit about something that you might be doing as a beekeeper to your hive that might be hurting or killing your bees and many of you probably don't even know you're doing it. So what might you be doing as a beekeeper that is hurting or killing your bees? And this is specific to winter time. So we all insulate our hives, most of us insulate our hives to give them some protection from the winter weather. And we know we have to leave the deck open on the front, their entrance open so that the bees can come and go when the weather gets warm enough for them to come out and use the bathroom, throw out the dead kind of clean house on a nice random day in the middle of winter. The problem that's occurring is, and what has come to light just in the last couple of days because I've been talking to several different beekeepers around, asking them how their bees went, talking to them a little bit about how winter been doing to their hives is that even though the front deck is still open for the bees to come and go they have obstructed the entrance so I'm going to give you an example here real quick to kind of illustrate a little bit about what we're talking about that your deck is open but the hive entrance may still be obstructed okay so here's our illustration right so you have your hive and then we're going to call this piece of styrofoam right here your uh, enclosure. If you didn't specifically wrap the hive, like right on the outsides of the hive, and you made a, a straw bale fort or some sort of a, an old door fort or something around your hive to be able to protect it from the wind and the elements a little bit better, but you left your entrance open, right? You have to leave the entrance open because the entrance is where they've got to be able to come and go when it warms up enough for them to be able to come out and use the bathroom, clean out the dead, and basically do their cleansing flights, right? So you've left this open, but you've made this fort around it. I know many beekeepers who have made this fort. The problem with this is, is that you have made, left your entrance open so that the bees can come out still. They're gonna fly out, they're gonna come up, they're gonna fly over, they're gonna come away, go away. But when they come back, scoot this forward just a little bit. When they come back, those bees are not gonna come back up here come over that fort, fly back down, and go back in. Those bees are going to come right out here, straight shot to your hive, to their hive, and they're going to not be able to pass this barrier. And they're not going to go around it. They're not going to go up and over the top. They're going to fly around right here until that cold weather comes back that night and kills them dead right here. Okay, so now as you can see, you want to make sure that not only do you make sure that the deck is open so the bees can come and go when we get warm days in the winter time so they can use the bathroom clean out the dead right but you have to make sure that if you built some sort of enclosure around the outside that that is open that that does not obstruct their flight path because their flight path is just as important as their ability to come and go from the hive so if you made a straw bale hut around the outside of your hive you want to make sure you take those straw bales down when that weather is going to get warm enough for those bees to be able to fly because they may be able to fly out and away but trying to come back they're going to come in low and they're going to come into that flight path the only instance where this is not the case is if you already keep your bees inside of an enclosure a privacy fence or a building or something like that and they already know their flight path going up and over something that is okay what we are talking about here is when you've built something around for the winter that is not part of an obstacle that is usually there when those bees are doing their day-to-day -day activities coming and going from the hive we thank you for watching the video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any other videos coming up here soon. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. We love to see pictures of what your bees are doing. We hope this helps just a little bit more. So thanks for coming to our channel, Honey and Home. Have a great day.